Hi, and welcome to the Avery Biomedical Devices Transtelephonic Monitoring Instructional Video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to record and transmit a TTM. We will be using a black box TTM with a patient who is pacing bilaterally. We will record and transmit a TTM using model ER920AF, also known as the black box TTM. For a patient pacing bilaterally, stimulating both sides, three skin electrodes are required. The first and second skin electrodes are placed just below the left and right lower ribs, while the third skin electrode is placed in the middle of the breastbone or sternum. Connect the TTM cable white snap button onto the skin electrode located at the middle of the breastbone. Connect the TTM cable red snap button onto the left skin electrode. As a norm, the left side is recorded first. Plug the TTM cable into the cable socket located on the side of the TTM device. If the snap buttons and the skin electrodes are well placed and make good contact, the TTM will sound one beat. For a few seconds, the TTM display will show square waveforms and cardiac waveforms thereafter. If there is no good connection between the snap buttons and skin electrodes, or the skin electrodes aren't making good contact to the skin, there will be no beep and the square waveforms will continue to be displayed. When monitoring flashes on the display, recording of the left side signals can begin. Disconnect the right side antenna from the transmitter while keeping both sides of the transmitter turned on. Press one of the record send buttons for two seconds until a continuous audible tone is heard and then release it. The display will show recording during the entire recording process. At this time, electrical signals from the diaphragm activity are being recorded into the TTM. During the recording process, the patient must remain still. If the sound changes tone, there is not a good connection to the patient. Recheck the skin electrodes and snap button connections. The recording takes 30 seconds. Once the recording ends, a warble beep will be heard. Reconnect the right side antenna to the pacemaker transmitter. Disconnect the red snap button from the left skin electrode and connect it to the right skin electrode. Disconnect the left side antenna from the pacemaker transmitter while keeping both sides of the transmitter turned on. Press one of the record send buttons for two seconds un until a continuous audible tone is heard and then release it. The recording takes 30 seconds. Once the recording ends, a warble beep will be heard. Reconnect the left side antenna to the pacemaker transmitter. The recording is done. Disconnect the red and white snap buttons from the skin electrodes and remove the skin electrodes from the patient's skin. Disconnect the TTM cable from the cable socket of the TTM device. Place the TTM on a flat surface with the speaker hole facing up. Have the TTM information sheet ready. Dial the telephone number for the TTM receiving station, 1631-864-1620. Use a corded landline telephone only. Cordless cellular and VOIP telephones do not work for TTM transmission. After several rings, you will be prompted with information on how to continue the TTM transmission. Give as much information as possible from the TTM information sheet. Place the telephone mouthpiece over the TTM speaker hole. Push the record send button on the side of the TTM device for two seconds until a continuous audible tone is heard and then release it. The display will show sending during the entire transmission process. A falling tone will sound when the transmission is complete. After both recordings have been sent, hang up the phone. This concludes the TTM transmission using the black box.